Small farming has been the single most important activity in the history of human existence. Illinois has 76,000 farms that cover more than 28 million acres. That number has decreased from 1959 when there were over 164,000 farmers. Small farm families began expanding and now 40% of farm products in the U.S. are still generated by small farms. Charleston, Illinois is home to more small farms than people are aware of. All that open land around the town may really not be useless after all. We're being used in production of corn and beans all the time. And uh, many of them are, belong to people who rent them to uh, local farmers to, to farm and they, they receive rent for it. So I don't see any idle land around here. Small farms around Charleston and also around the United States have been striving to hold on to their land after the economy took a turn for the worst. Prices for land have been skyrocketing and big farming corporations have been taking over. People perceive them really don't exist much anymore because farmers are getting bigger and bigger all the time. In fact, um, uh, they're, they're all looking for land to expand and there's not very many uh, acreage available for them and as a result the land prices have gone up a lot and uh, a piece of land that you could have bought for maybe a couple thousand dollars a few years ago they're in fifty five hundred eight thousand dollars one of the biggest issues people think small farmers run into is that they aren't as educated about the business as big farming corporations Many colleges and universities now offer agricultural programs to people that are interested in learning more about the field. But does it really make a difference in the long run? Education helps a lot because, uh, well, you have to have knowledge to work with, uh, with uh, equipment that they have. As perhaps you may have noticed, the size of equipment is getting bigger too as the size of land is getting larger. But uh, traditionally, Farmers know everything that they do, and uh, unfortunately, their kids do not continue that tradition. So many farmers, if they die off, they, their land would be sold to other farmers by their kid, children because children are educated now. As smaller communities change and try to expand, that's when the smaller farms start to diminish. Larger farm operations are now the majority of the agriculture business. The U.S. is currently losing farms at a rate of 23 per day, and it's only getting worse. It has been a trend in the last probably 100 years or so that the size of the farm is increasing as the number of farmers is decreasing. Uh, at the turn of the previous century, we had about 30% of our population living on the farm, but now it is less than 2%. Keeping small farms around can be beneficial. They produce fresh, nutritious, high-quality foods, which provide a wealth of benefits for their surrounding communities and local regions. Small farms are unique to a community. Instead of getting produce at the grocery store, purchase it from the local farmer's market or food co-op. You'd be surprised what little bit can help to save small farms.